Look at this. Okay, so my husband is on his way to like a fancy country club to have dinner with his workout group, whatever. <laughs> the wives weren't invited. No girls allowed, I guess. And so I'm eating a cauliflower pizza that was in a box in my freezer. And look how nasty it looks. I'm gonna eat it though, because I have no food. I mean, that doesn't look very appetizing, does it? Mm -mm. So I'm gonna eat this and I'm gonna take you outside and we're gonna talk for a bit about my latest obsession. So I meant to get out here earlier because it was such a nice night, but now the sun is setting and it's getting dark, but I wanted to show you what I wanted, what I am kind of obsessed with and why I got down here later. So I started a new project. It's a big project and it's an Afghan. I was watching um, Handwork Maniac, Brenda, and she said she had started doing these Afghans that she ordered from Stony Creek. Well, I don't have one of them. I actually now have one on order, but it isn't here yet. But I was like, I kind of want to try to do that and see what it's all about. Oh, excuse the rust stains there on the pavement. The pool's old. Um, and anyway, so I ordered an Afghan off of Amazon, not knowing what it is or anything. So I just finished the first square and I'm going to show you my thoughts, but I realized that I had the Afghan turned the wrong way and I'm so upset. So this is my thought. Let me just show you what I, what I've, what I finished. I don't know if I can get this. Okay. There. So there's the first square. This, I th and my thought was to do the whole thing in these little houses. This is actually a free pattern, totally free from um, a blog that I found. She also has an Instagram account. It's Pinker and Pumpkin, Pumpkin, Pinker and Pumpkin. And her name is Melissa, I believe. And she does these salt box houses that she puts out like every month. So they're like themed for the month. And I mean like this one is a winter themed one, like for January. Now this one actually fit pretty, I mean just about as good as I could get it in this little square. Like it was, it's almost to the edges on this side and on this side it's very close. So it's a really good fit for the square. My feelings are I would like to do like fill the whole thing up but it's got like 35 squares and that would be like 35 houses now I have I did do this one in a few days so I did it pretty fast but it's all I worked on it's all I worked on so um, I'm gonna take you inside where the light is a little bit better and I'm gonna lay this out so you can see it like how big it is and kind of how the whole Afghan thing works, which I have never, I didn't know like how you're supposed to make it into an Afghan after you stitch on it. Anyway, I'll show you. I don't know, should I, should I, what should I do? Should I continue it? Well, let me just show you. All right, so this is the Afghan spread out. It is um, big. It is, you can see it's on this big, um, like Ottoman thing that I have here in my um, family room. 
and it's still hanging over a little bit on this side. So this is, um, well, okay. So I wanted to do it right, start right here and have it do go like, be longer going, how am I trying to say this? I wanted it longer going this way and I did it the wrong way. So this one, but does it matter? Do you think it matters? Like, should I, should I continue it? This is kind of like, just like a little practice for me. Um, so this one is seven squares going this way. So you see, not counting this part. So it starts right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then five going this way. And each of these squares are about, I think they're four and a half, four and three quarters. I didn't really measure them in um, both ways. So each, so this is like four and a half by four and a half, roughly, or something like that. So this pattern fit pretty good in that square, see? So I'm thinking the other ones, I, was, I started in the middle just to make sure. You know, I started in the middle just to make sure that, you know, it was gonna be centered, like the house is gonna be centered. Now some of them, if I continue to do these houses, and honestly, she probably has 35 houses, salt box houses that she's already created. Because I think that there's like two or three from like each season. I haven't gone through and counted. I think I counted, well, no, wait, I did count. I don't know, I can't, I can't remember. She, but she, she continues to create them. So I could fill up every square with a house. Is it gonna look bad if I do it, if it's that way? instead of that way is what I want to know. Okay, also, or I could like stagger them. You know, like one here and one here and one here and one here and one here. I could do that. The problem with that, I feel like, you know, there's going to be a lot of like the light colored fabric showing through. So I don't know. What are your thoughts? Yes, this is, this would take me forever. <laughs> Now, I really did, I mean, it took me less than a week to finish this, this house. Just a few days. But they're all gonna be similar in that size, the ones I do. Um, the whole thing about this afghan is, and they say to come out, that you should leave like, um, I don't know, people put tape on these so that they don't, they don't come unraveled. But what you do is you take these, that's my dog right there. Um, you take these strings and you just unravel it. And you keep, and I didn't only did just that point, but you ravel, unravel it all the way down. And then you unravel it until it gets to I think like this point, I've not done this before, I just watched a video, till it gets to like this point or however long you want it. And then you take, I'll just, I'll just use these as an example, although these aren't, these are the ones I'm pulling out. So these are the ones that I would tie. But you take like maybe four or five of them at a time and you just knot them and it makes like the fringe. <laughs> Isn't that cool? This is actually pretty soft. Like I would use that just as it is, like that uh, as on a like just. I wouldn't. Put, I don't feel like I have to put a backing on it or anything. It's very soft. Now, you do want to be careful when you're stitching. I found out. You know, but you don't want like to run your threads all over because they'll show if you don't put a backing on it or anything. Um, well, I mean, I, beforehand, I guess they would show through there. So I'll show you the back of it. And I haven't, you know, the back, the back's not bad. I tried to stay really pretty neat and tucked all my, I did carry a little bit in some places. 
but I don't mean overall it's pretty good I guess for me anyway so I ordered look and I already got like a spot well is that like a spot on it um I ordered another one from Stony Creek that is going to be more staggered and it's going to be different it's going to have a pattern and then I actually found one that's really pretty cool I, I'm I, okay I found it on eBay and it's a pattern it's like a um I can't remember I can't remember what the name of it but it's a garden scene but it does the same thing but you have a pattern and so you're stitching you're stitching different things in each box but then when you but when you finish it's supposed to be like one big picture I don't know it's just, I'm just obsessed I'm obsessed with this idea I cannot um, crochet I can't sew I don't know I mean I, this is like the only way I would know how to make a blanket <laughs> is by doing this so let me know if you have ever done one of these afghans before and if you think it's going to be okay if I just continue along here and just have it be that way instead of what do you think should I fill up every box or should I stagger them what should I do tell me and my plan is to just stitch like a house for January February and just kind of do it all the way until December and then start over again with more houses and just fill it up in my and then I have a plan for this this one let's see I think it'll be this one right here in the middle there's like a, a house that's like stitching themed and it has a tomato and I thought I'd put that one in the middle let me know what you think. This fabric is like an even weave and it's, um, it's different, but, but pretty easy to stitch on. There's the house again. And this is, I think the one that she came out with this past January. I can't remember the name of it. Um, yeah, I cannot remember the name of it. And there's one like that that's called like Love Grows Here. That's for February. And then there's one for March and April, all the, all the months. <laughs> all right, y'all. Let me know. Bye.